In this video, we will look at how to point a domain from Namecheap to AWS Route 53 to host a static website with a custom domain. Let's get started. First, log in to your AWS console and go to Route 53 service. There, you will click on Create Hosted Zone. Under the domain name, you will put the exact name of your domain that you have registered. Leave the type to public hosted zone. Click on create. There you will have four different name servers listed. So we'll go ahead and copy that list of servers for later. And now go back to Namecheap and uh, if you scroll a little bit down there you should see a section for name servers. Go ahead and select uh, custom DNS copy and paste the name servers that we got from Route 53 hosted zone and remember to skip the trailing dots we don't need those dots in Namecheap name server list so once you have added all those four servers click on apply that's pretty much it now your domain should point to this name servers it does take some time for DNS propagation so you will not be able to test immediately in the meantime let's go ahead and set up a static website in AWS S3 uh, let's go ahead and create a bucket and make sure to name the bucket exactly same as your domain name click on next and here it's a good idea to keep versioning enabled uh, and also remove the block for all public access because we need this bucket to be publicly accessible click on next and create bucket once the bucket is created uh, we'll go to permissions tab and there inside bucket policy we will go ahead and add a bucket policy that will allow s3 get object permissions to the public go ahead and save it so now this bucket has public access next thing we want to change the static website hosting setting we will select use this bucket to host a website put index.html as index document and then save it next we will go to route 53 click on hosted zone and then click on the hosted zone that was created before here we will create a record set uh, for the first record set leave it all empty and go ahead and select alias and in alias target you must see the s3 bucket go ahead and select that click on create once the record set is created if the DNS propagation has completed you must be able to access the website so it seems like the DNS propagation is not yet completed so let's go ahead and complete few do few more stuff so we'll go ahead and add one more record set for www.quickrefs.com so this will be just a redirect to uh, the earlier record set so you know whether we come from www or without one you it will point to the same s3 bucket and uh, also we need to go to s3 bucket and create one more s3 bucket this time with a www.quickrefs.com with a www in front and click next this one we don't need any versioning or we don't need public access so just create bucket once this bucket is created we'll go to properties on static website hosting select redirect request and then provide the name of the target bucket which will be the bucket that we created earlier save it so now we should be all set so let's see if the DNS is working now there we go the DNS propagation completed we can see the response from s3 but at this time it's saying index.html not found so we'll go and create 
index.html here I'm just pasting a skeleton form bootstrap template so we'll go ahead and save it and then upload it to the public bucket you can drag and drop the index.html into this bucket save it and once the upload is complete go ahead and try to refresh that page there we go that's the hello world page from s3 bucket accessible via your custom domain at namecheap if you liked the video do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you